Greetings and welcome to this installment of Introduction to Solid Modeling with SolidWorks. And if you have not done it yet, you should go back and do the other videos showing how to create the parts and assemble the main part of the screwdriver, the handle with the shaft. In this video, we're going to finish off the assembly using the inserts that we created in the other video. What's more, we're going to put them together so that they are gathered in what's called configurations in SolidWorks. So let's put the first one in. I already have them in memory, so I'll go to Insert Components, start with the flathead, just click and drag it out here, click there, and I'm going to put the various planes here. Okay, notice how that didn't come in in the right direction, so I just need to click that button, flips it around. Now also note that in the videos we did our best to try to make sure that our planes were the same orientation for whichever part we were making. Hopefully that will work for us this time. So we will go to shaft assembly. Let's go into this part. And we want the front plane of this to mate with the front plane of that. Now it did shift around a little bit. Uh-oh, we did not actually make these the same. We have a front plane of our flathead insert going through the vertices of our hex, whereas the front plane here goes through the flats. Well, uh, I will continue on this way to show you how it can get a little bit confusing. So trying to keep those planes consistent is a very good thing. So we are not going to do the front plane. Now we've got to go dig around, find out what we want. So we want the one that's going through the flats. So this one that's going here, uh, that's it. We want the right plane. Okay, that's a little better. Green check mark on that. And then we want the top plane here and the front plane there. Okay. Now that's put together well. Just for fun, I'm going to use my section view. And I can use my section view to see how well this has been assembled. If it's all the same color, it's a little bit harder, especially if there's no gaps. But if we had made some gaps, we could see how all of this was assembled. You can see our interference over here, as a matter of fact. But if we're not looking for gaps, or if we don't want gaps, then we're finding exactly that, no gaps. Grabbing onto this arrow, moving it back and forth. Okay, so I can select different planes this way. Looking at the cross sections. Alright, I'll get rid of my section view there and I'm going to save this example. Now what I really want to do is make different configurations for the different inserts. If all I wanted was just one screwdriver and this would be fine and I could keep it at the default. But instead, I'm going to go here to Configuration Manager, right click here, go to Add Configuration, I'll call it Flat Head. Green check mark, and now I have a new configuration. It's that simple. Now, to modify 
this configuration, we'll have to use a couple of other commands. But I'm going to go back to default. Now default is not really the default, it's the flathead. So I'm going to right click on this, go up to configure component, and I'm going to say that I want it suppressed in the default. So I'm going to apply and then hit OK. And now when I go to the default configuration, it doesn't show up. But when I go to flathead, it does. So let's do that a couple more times. Let's go back to default and insert Phillips. And we're going to mate that there. And it came in right this time. Let's go down here. Okay, did we get that right? Oh, yeah. Look like those planes matched up properly. That's good. Makes it that much easier. Then we'll make another mate of the top plane here with the top plane there. And that was just fine. It worked out nicely. So hit OK on all that. I go to Configuration Manager and I'm going to right click on the top level configuration, go to add configuration, just going to call it Phillips head. And then I'm now in the Phillips head configuration. Going to right click here, go to configure component again. And I don't want it in default, I don't want it in flat head. So I'll just press it there and hit OK. Now this minus thing on flathead means that it hasn't been regenerated since we've last changed configurations. So I'll just double click that and I'll show you that flathead shows up. No Phillips. There's the Phillips and there's our default. So one last time. Insert the hex. Meet that surface to that surface. Front plane goes across the flats, so I want the same thing for the hex insert. And oh, the front plane is not going across the flats, so it's got to be the right plane here. And then I'll want the top plane and the front plane for that one. Okay, so what happens if I don't assemble it properly and I can't seem to dig it out? Well, I just need to go into here and find my mate. Now you can go to mates in here which show all the mates for the entire assembly or for that particular part you can just go right here and it should be only be three. There's this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to right click here, edit feature, and then change the mate alignment. And that's okay. So go in, check to make sure that's what I wanted, and that's true, that's what I wanted. Okay. So let's clean this up a little bit. Go back in here, right click at the top, add configuration, hex, head. By the way, I made this particular insert on my own and I challenge the student to do the same. So now I'm in the hex head configuration. 
I right click here, configure component, and I don't want it in default, flat head or Phillips head. And now, Phillips head looks like Phillips, hex looks like hex, and flat looks like flat. These configurations can come in handy when it comes to making bills of materials, drawings, documentation, and other metadata that is associated with this assembly. So this is the final assembly of the screwdriver. And in this video, we showed how to assemble three similar parts, showed why it's a good idea to try to keep the orientations of all parts that are together the same simply because it makes the assembly easier and how to change things so that you have different configurations within a single assembly using our configuration manager and the different options that are available. I hope this helped and the last video to watch for the screwdriver project will be an assembly drawing. It will be fairly short and straightforward, but it will show a few new techniques that we did not show in the other drawing videos.